I am Fabrizio Garda. I do work at the Papa Verino as a communication and event manager. Okay. So it's perfect for me here. It is perfect for you, you, you here, just to know what events we do, but not the products we have <laughs> right now. Okay. The last, the last, each kind of project you have right now. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to present to you um, the cookies roller, which is made by Enrico Bassi and Elena Persacco, uh, which is an amazing project uh, that we use to create biscuits. Um, with a roller, so it simplifies the process in making biscuits. This is really, really nice, and kids love it. So it's 3D printed? It is really, yeah, yeah, it is. 3D printed, this part, mm -hmm. and then you can add it to the normal roller, and this is what you have in the end. Okay, this is like the typical Escher texture, so it, it optimizes the process of making uh, biscuits, and because you don't produce scraps, so this is perfect. And then you have reptiles as a result, which is pretty nice. And then we have super nice <laughs> scientific tool to see how the um, um, battery, um, virus, and <laughs> you know, um, little particles <laughs> living <laughs> microorganisms. Yeah, microorganisms. Um, the, with this tool, so you can check how these um, microorganisms live and proliferate in, into the into this little sample. Mm -hmm. Come on, don't watch me. <laughs> um, this is a project made by Stefano Paradiso, which is the Pub Lab coordinator. And uh, well, actually, this is um, I don't know how to, to call it in English, but it should be a tape measure. Okay. Yeah. And this is also a parametric tool. Mm -hmm. And uh, made with Arduino, so you can attach it to the to the laptop computer. You can just check your measures if you want to create a sort of pants or a T-shirt. You have your model in, on your on Reno Seros, uh, the software, the three D printing uh, software. With these tools, you take your measures and then you just set up the measures and the, param the parameters of the object. Okay, so you just have to export the file and then cut it off and you have the, the basic of your uh, your dresses or clothes or whatever you're creating. Mm -hmm. This is not a 3D printer, as you can think, <laughs> but this is a 3D light printer. So instead of an um, injector, right, you have a, a LED light. Okay, so as you see in the example, uh, with long time of exposure on the photographic machine, you just create um, objects with lights instead of plastics and you create a sort of portrait with this kind of tools. And it's made by Gianluca Pugliese, which is um, sort of expertise in light painting and this is This is Robotino, which is a project made with Arduino um, that helps kids to understand how to interact with technology. So you have a couple of sensors right here and in front. And in particular, each of these uh, has a different uh, sensor. This is of uh, proximity, mm -hmm. is it right? Uh, this is of light, so I guess. We have Giovanni right here, which is the maker of this project. <laughs> Maybe he can well explain what, what this is about. Tell us, tell us what it's all about. Tell us. Tell us. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, an Arduino shield. So you put uh, your Arduino, Leonardo, you know, or a unit to the robot. And you can program it with uh, easy programming, easy libraries, so you can make sounds, movement, working with a display, with uh, text uh, or messages or faces. And uh, if you use uh, an Arduino Yum, you can connect it to the web. Mm -hmm. So maybe uh, reading your, uh, your email or uh, spinning when uh, you receive a message. And it's done for uh, teaching. Uh, people to program. Okay. Yeah, so it's an easy platform to program it. Uh, That's good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks. Thanks for having us.